John Lester Hubbard Chaffee, Chaffee October 22, 1922 to October 24, 1999, was an American politician. He served as an officer in the United States Marine Corps, as the 66th Governor of Rhode Island, as the Secretary of the Navy, and as a United States Senator. <laughs> Early life and family Chaffee was born in Providence, Rhode Island to a politically active family. He was the son of Janet Melissa May Hunter and John Sharp Chaffee. His great-grandfather, Henry Lippitt, was governor of Rhode Island 1875 and among his great-uncles were a Rhode Island governor, Charles Warren Lippitt, and United States Senator Henry Frederick Lippitt. His uncle, Zechariah Chaffee, was a Harvard law professor, and a notable civil libertarian. His cousin was Frederick Lippitt, former House Minority Leader for the Rhode Island House of Representatives. He had two daughters and four sons, one of whom is former Rhode Island Governor and former United States Senator Lincoln Chaffee. John Chaffee graduated from a coeducational primary school, Providence's Gordon School, in 1931 and then attended Providence Country Day School. In 1940, he graduated from Deerfield Academy in Massachusetts. Marine Corps service Chaffee was in his third year as an undergraduate at Yale University when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. He interrupted his undergraduate studies and enlisted in the Marine Corps, spending his 20th birthday fighting on the island of Guadalcanal from August 8 until November 1942, when the 1st Marine Division was relieved. After receiving his commission as a second lieutenant, he fought in the Battle of Okinawa in the spring of 1945. Following the war, he received degrees from Yale University in 1947 and Harvard Law School in 1950. At Yale, he was a member of the Delta Kappa Epsilon Phi chapter and Skull and Bones fraternities. In 1951, he was recalled to active service to be a Marine Rifle Company commander during the Korean War with Dog Company, 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines. Author James Brady in his memoir of the Korean War and serving as a Marine under Chaffee writes, Nowhere, at any time, did John Chaffee serve more nobly than he did as a Marine officer commanding a rifle company in the mountains of North Korea, and that, He was the only truly great man I've yet met in my life. Chaffee's military awards include three awards of the Presidential Unit Citation, the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, the World War II Victory Medal, the Korean Service Medal and the United Nations Korea Medal. <laughs> Early political career Chaffee became active in behind-the-scenes Rhode Island politics by helping elect a mayor of Providence in the early 1950s. He successfully ran for a seat in the Rhode Island House of Representatives in 1956 and later became the minority leader. He was re-elected in 1958 and 1960, the latter a year when many Republicans were swept from office in his state. <laughs> Governor of Rhode Island. Chaffee was elected governor in 1962, helping create the state's public transportation administration as well as what was known as the Green Acres Program, a conservation effort. In 1968 he served as chair of the Republican Governors Association. He served as governor until 1969, when he was surprisingly defeated by underdog Democrat Frank Licht. Reasons ascribed for the defeat include the fact that, after running three times on a strong anti-income tax platform, Chaffee now said that such a tax was imperative indeed his anti-tax opponent went on to champion one in 1971, and that he stopped campaigning after his 14-year-old daughter Tribby was killed in a riding accident. <laughs> Secretary of the Navy He was appointed Secretary of the Navy in 1969 by President Richard Nixon. Chaffee's tenure as Secretary was marked by a willingness to make bold decisions and stand by them. 
Emblematic of this was his decision to elevate Admiral Elmo Zumwalt as Chief of Naval Operations over 33 more senior officers, and his judicious handling of the USS Pueblo situation, in which North Korean forces, during the previous administration, had boarded and captured a Navy intelligence ship. His action as Secretary of the Navy that is most clearly remembered is his disapproval of the recommendation to Court Martial Commander Lloyd Booker, the commanding officer of the Pueblo, once the release of the crew had been secured. Because it was clear that the guilt clearly rested on the North Koreans and not Booker or the sailors on the Pueblo, Chaffee stated that, Booker and his men have suffered enough, and that a court martial would only add insult to injury. He served as Secretary of the Navy until 1972 when he resigned to run for the U.S. Senate. <laughs> United States Senator After an unsuccessful candidacy for the Senate in 1972 against Democratic incumbent Claiborne Pell, Chaffee was elected to that body in 1976, the first Republican to win a Rhode Island Senate election since 1930. He joined the Senate Committee on Environment and Public Works in 1977 and made environmental matters a chief concern, often breaking with his party to the delight of conservation groups. He chaired that committee during his last term in office from 1995 to 1999. As a result of his work, Chaffee was a recipient of the Lady Bird Johnson Environmental Award. Among the bills Chaffee fostered while in the minority was the Clean Water Act of 1986, and the 1990 amendments to the Clean Air Act. He also was an architect of the 1980 Superfund program to clean up hazardous waste sites as well as the Oil Pollution Act of 1990. Chaffee authored the Coastal Barrier Resources Act of 1982, establishing the Coastal Barrier Resources System CBRS. Upon Chaffee's death in 1999, the CBRS was renamed the John H. Chaffee Coastal Barrier Resources System. Chaffee was pro-choice on abortion and supported the North American Free Trade Agreement. He took a moderate stance on taxes and government assistance to the needy. On social issues, Chaffee was among the most liberal members of the Senate. He opposed the death penalty, school prayer, and the ban on homosexuals serving in the military. Chaffee was one of the few Republicans to support strict gun control laws. He sponsored a bill that, if passed, would have prohibited the manufacture, importation, exportation, sale, purchase, transfer, receipt, possession, or transportation of handguns and hand ammunition. During the late 1980s and 1990s Senator Chaffee became an advocate for improving the U.S. health care system. He supported legislation to expand Medicaid coverage for low-income children and pregnant women, sponsored legislation to expand the availability of home and community-based services for persons with disabilities and worked to enact legislation to establish federally qualified health centers. In 1992, he was appointed chairman of the Senate Republican Task Force on Health, and he worked to develop a consensus among Republicans on health care. In 1993, he joined with Democratic Louisiana Senator John Bro to form the Senate Mainstream Coalition, a coalition of six Democratic and six Republican senators seeking bipartisan consensus on health reform. He sponsored legislation that increased funds to states to assist youths in making the transition from foster care to independent living, recognized the need for special help for youths ages 18 to 21 who have left foster care, offered states greater flexibility in designing their independent living programs, and, established accountability for states in implementing independent living programs. As a testimonial to the late Senator Chaffee, the program is now entitled the John H. Chaffee Foster Care Independence Program. John Chaffee proved that politics can be an honorable profession," President Bill Clinton said in a statement to the Associated Press, shortly after Chaffee died. He embodied the decent center which has carried America from triumph to triumph for over 200 years. On February 12, 1999, Chaffee voted against both articles of impeachment against Clinton. Chaffee sat on the U.S. Senate Select Committee on Intelligence and was chairman of the Senate Finance Committee's Subcommittee on Health Care, but his biggest imprint was on environmental concerns. He also served in his party's leadership, chairing the Senate Republican Conference from 1985 to 1990. Less than two weeks before his death, Chaffee was one of four Senate Republicans to vote in favor of the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. 
The treaty was designed to ban underground nuclear testing and was the first major international security pact to be defeated in the Senate since the Treaty of Versailles. His last major act was authoring and sponsoring the Transportation Equity Act for the 21st century, which authorized funding for transportation programs for the next six years. Death A few months after declaring that he would not seek re-election in 2000, he died suddenly from congestive heart failure in October 24, 1999—just two days after his 77th birthday—at the National Naval Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. He was survived by his wife Virginia Coates Chaffee, a daughter, and four sons, including Lincoln Chaffee, who was appointed to serve out the remainder of the elder Chaffee's term and who then won a full term in his own right in the 2000 election. In 2000, Senator Chaffee was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In an obituary, President Clinton said that, he embodied the decent center. For him, civility was not simply a matter of personal manners. He believed it was essential to the preservation of our democratic system. Topic. Namesake The USS Chaffee DDG-90, the John H. Chaffee Blackstone River Valley National Heritage Corridor and the John H. Chaffee National Wildlife Refuge were named in his honor. Bryant University in Smithfield, Rhode Island named its World Trade Center on campus after John H. Chaffee for his continuing support for global trade and his association with the university. The Chaffee Social Science Center at the University of Rhode Island is named in his honor. It is the tallest building in southern Rhode Island. The Foster Care Independence Act of 1999, passed on November 23, 1999 after his death, is known as the John H. Chaffee Foster Care Independence Program. The programs are administered at the state level by social service agencies. One such program, in example, is the North Carolina Lynx Program. <laughs> Awards and honors Presidential Medal of Freedom posthumous 2000 Navy Presidential Unit Citation 3 awards Guadalcanal Okinawa Chosin Reservoir American Campaign Medal Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal World War II Victory Medal National Defense Service Medal Korean Service Medal Korean Presidential Unit Citation United Nations Service Medal Korean Defense Service Medal Audubon Medal National Audubon Society A bronze statue of Chaffee was erected in Colt State Park overlooking Narragansett Bay in 2003 note despite press reports to the contrary Senator Chaffee never received the Purple Heart and never claimed to have received the award Topic See also List of famous U.S. Marines Rockefeller Republican List of United States Congress members who died in office 1950 to 99